Hey everyone, and welcome back to part 24 of Let's Clone a Pokemon game. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually deal damage using the enemy monster. So what we're going to be doing is randomizing the attack of the enemy monster, and then calculating the damage through the um, monster attack script. Now I found a way to easily just transfer over the variable for the turn, in order to calculate you know, who's attacking, if it's your monster who's attacking the enemy monster, or the enemy monster who's attacking attacking your monster. So we're just going to be tossing around a lot of variables and getting that to function correctly. So we'll just jump into the code and the first thing I did was I added a brand new display for our own monster. It's the exact same code from up here, just a different position and I changed it to our monster equipped. So I just changed all those ones to that and that's how I displayed my monster. And then if we scroll down here to our actual attack that we selected, um, you can see that I added a brand new variable to the mix. So if you just put a comma here and add turn, this will tell us um, exactly whose turn it is when we're attacking. And that's just to keep track of that. So if we actually jump into our usability script, you can see here's the attack name, comma, and then I added the turn in here. Now what the turn can be used for is, at first we're going to be passing it through a lot of different functions to keep track of it. So when we actually call our different attacks, we want to transfer that turn variable into there. And then depending on which one we call, we have this again as turn. And then we'll plug it into calculate damage. Now we got rid of that other code, this one. And we just replaced it with how much damage we're going to be dealing right here, as well as our turn. And now you want to create a brand new function called calculate damage. And we're going to be transferring over the damage that we dealt from that attack and also whose turn it is. So depending on whose turn it is, if it's zero, it's going to be, you know, the player attacking the enemy monster. If it's anything else, which it's going to be one if it is anything else, it's going to be um, the enemy monster attacking our monster and dealing that damage. So this way we don't have to create a bunch of different functions or a separate script for monster attacks. We can just transfer in the, uh, the turn variable and keep track of whose turn it is and deal damage according to whose turn it was. Now we can also add in a bunch of other variables and stuff like that, which we'll probably end up doing later. But on top of that, I also added a brand new script down here in our enemy attack. So what we're going to be doing is saying if we're in combat. Um, so this is just making sure that that enemy monster doesn't attack us again after we actually kill it. So if we did kill it, it'll turn off combat and it'll make it so it can't attack because I was running into an issue where the enemy was attacking as soon as I got out of combat, no matter what. So I just put that in there just to make sure that it doesn't. And then also we're going to be creating a brand new variable for random attack. So each time this is called, it's going to randomly generate a number between zero and three. And that'll correspond to which attack we want. So since we have four attacks, um, we want to grab one of those attacks for our enemy monster. So down here is a piece of code that we just copied from our normal attacks. The only difference in here is that we renamed this enemy monster. So we want to actually grab the attacks from our enemy monster. And then we want to select a random attack. So instead of us selecting the attack, they're just choosing a random one by themselves. So it's just RNG related to what they pick and we can change this up for actual battles with like gym leaders and stuff like that where you want more stuff to be you know you want certain attacks to be chosen in a certain order or something like that but anyways that's pretty much all we have for that um, one more thing I did in our copy monster code I just added in our HP stats because they weren't included and the image um, I guess without adding, the, I'm actually going to have to do a copy um, monster for our enemy monster as well. 
Because right now, when you exit out of combat, it does not save, or it saves um, how much damage you actually did to the default monster. So that's something we don't want. It is something that was happening with our monster before, to where it actually affects the ones in the array, and you don't want it to do that in case you're constantly generating them. You don't want the default that loads up to be zero, or else it kicks us immediately out of combat. Um, but anyways, the uh, the last thing that I added was making sure that after the battle that our HP is set back to 10. Now this is just placeholder right now. The issue with this is that if our monster's HP is zero when we enter combat, it's going to kick us right back out because it's constantly checking whether we are... Um, Where's our update? Oh, this is our... Okay. Yeah, it's constantly checking um, if our HP is zero or not, so it's constantly going to kick us out of combat if that's not set up correctly. So what we could do is we can go jump into gameplay, and I can show you guys this real quick. Another side note is for all my enemy monsters, I made sure that there are only two attacks, or out of the four, I made two of them vine and two of them smash. Since I don't have all the enemy attacks set up, or any every attack in general sh set up, I just set it for that. So let's just do a smaller attack. So we dealt two damage, and then we got dealt five damage. Do smash again, dealt two, and we got dealt five. So we actually died there, so we should probably transport ourselves back to a center or something like that, or whatever we want to set up. And uh, yeah, we'll worry about that stuff in the future, but that's just a basic way to set up your AI to do random attacks.